<laughs> what are you doing? I'm just backing up, having a good time, man. Uh, what? No, the music. Oh, this is a good song, man. Dance Monkey. It's snowing in Kentucky. Welcome back to All Things Outdoors. First hike of the 2020 season. Um, actually going to be meeting some uh, friends. Yo, kids, what's up? Go here. What's going on, hikers? Remember, you got one life. Live it. Hello, I'm David Gray. Welcome to the dead of winter in central Indiana. Uh, really excited about that. Right now I stayed in the Coomer Ridge campground and then we're going to be meeting at the Osborne Trailhead. We're going to be doing some off trail hiking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything packed up and then I'm going to head into town, grab some coffee and then just kind of drive around, maybe look at some stuff and then I'll meet everybody at the trailhead at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not Bumblebee. Uh, I was talking to World According to Goat, uh, and uh, we were talking about tarp camping and stuff like that. He brought up some really cool points about it, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. What I did is I tarp camped last night just because I was getting here late, easy to set up. So let's finish getting packed up, and let's get on the trail. I figure we got time. Let's go check out Skybridge. Beautiful. Just enough snow to make it pretty. Can you shoot an intro for me? Can you shoot an intro for me since I lost mine? Oh. <laughs> yeah, where are we? Uh, Here New, we are at New York. New York, Kentucky <laughs> Derby. Chilling in my nose, all running and stuff. <laughs> So check this out, all this water running this way, right into that hole, then nothing, that's so cool. Section one done, Copper's Falls check. Now on the way to Eagle's Nest and see some more falls and maybe Moonshiner's Cave, I believe. I could be wrong about that. 
I'm just walking with that guy. This is the part where we're gonna camp out once we get to the top. We're gonna camp out on top of Eagle's Nest. Then tomorrow we're gonna come back down and head over to the Indian Staircase Bypass. Is this where the water went under into the hole? Came out here. That is way cool. So the water went, that hole that I showed you on the other side where the water was going in, this is the exit. How cool is that? So you see that arch called Moonshiner's Arch? huge yeah we're gonna go up inside this thing oh man <laughs> it's tight isn't it? It is. so you could you could have the other trail you can actually like be on top of this thing and follow a trail up this way like to where we're going okay but it's more fun this way yeah <laughs> going up through it through it oh okay. over there was moonshiner arch i just found the cave we're not allowed to go in there. Apparently it's closed. Whoa! It goes down a ways. following the Red River. That's blue. <laughs> <laughs> that was professional photography right there. Wasn't you, it? You filming this way, <laughs> me filming this way. And like we just stepped on each side of each other that, going the right way. That was amazing. You didn't see what happened behind the scenes, but that was magical. <laughs> Oh, you're good. You're good. My little backpacking. Oh, get your backpackers picture. Yeah. Check this out. Can't see anything on a GoPro, I'm sure. <laughs> that awesome. <laughs> He's sporting. He's sporting this like <laughs> I don't know this ocean or whatever. Yeah, to us it's a little creek. To him, it's a class five rapids. <laughs> good luck, buddy. You've already go over Niagara. Bailey's down. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, get out of the way. Way up there. Second deadliest place in the gorge. These people try to cl climb into that cave. Crazy. Uh, so we made it to the top. What a view. Oh my goodness, check this out. Gorgeous. What do you think? How's the views? It's amazing. All right. So we're gonna follow this little path. We're like literally a minute or two away from camp. Uh, Earlier, you'd have seen Eagle's Nest Falls. And this is the top of it right here that was spraying. You can see it coming off the cliffs where I was recording earlier. Uh, we're going to take this way to camp, but look at this water. Unreal. Got some good water for tonight.
Look at that red river down there. All right, so this is the second most dangerous spot in the Red River Gorge? Correct. The number one is uh, Chimney Rock. Yeah. Into which it's a tourist area. Okay. Where everybody jump over the fence and they want to see it. It's kind of the same thing here, but this doesn't have a fence. They want to get down into the ledge part and I guess the adrenaline rush. But yeah. This is where everybody falls. So right down there. They go down this crack and they hang out down there at the bottom and they always have a hard time getting back up or in the fall is a couple hundred feet. So if you fall, it's pretty much it. Wow. But look at this river that goes all the way around. I mean, is is that view really, like Jason said, any better than this view? <laughs> and that is where we walk from. That was our trail. It's pretty much we hugged by the river. And then when you kind of see the nest, you start making your way up the mountain. But you kind of follow the river. And you can keep following the river all the way around. I mean, I went far, far into there. Nice. All right, so we're at the top of Eagle's Nest, and actually the nest is just right down that that path where where we were showing you earlier. But we're going to camp out here, so you can see the uh, duplex from Jason and bumblebees back there with some new additions. I'll show you in the morning. Uh, goat, did you move your tarp up top? So you can you can kind of tie it together. In between the whole story you guys. Oh, okay. So if you go around the corner, there's a flat spot for a, the other tents are hanging out here. But this is going to be the common ground. We got the fire going. Uh, got some wood going. Getting ready to cook tons of food. So it's going to be exciting. Uh, really, really excited for a good night. So really a pretty challenging trail. Um, I don't know if it's because my first time out or if it legitimately was challenging, but just a great time. Amazing views. I mean, it just, at the end of every tough hike, there is a, a good good view at some point. So, um, But dogs got their second wind there. They're going around checking everybody's food. <laughs> so, But I'm super excited. So we're going to just pro probably chill by the fire, eat tons of food, and just have a good time the rest of the night. So on a much-deserved day. But other than that, I'll check you guys in the morning. Morning, day two. Can't wait to get out and see what it looks like. It snowed quite a bit last night. Um, if it looks like my tarp collapsed, it didn't. Hold on, let me wipe that off. What I've got is a winter cover for bumblebee, so I'll show you that here in a little bit. But I want to get out, check out, see what it looks like outside. All right, what we got, I actually made a bit of a winter cover for bumblebee just for some of these winter trips in case my under quilt top quilt that i already have isn't quite enough uh, and it did bridge the gap i will say just best guesstimation of what i normally sleep in in the colder weather i gained at least eight degrees temperature uh, with this cover made out of 1.1 uh, rip stop actually added two vents on each side and then instead of on the bottom it's normally a uh, zip up on a lot of winter socks this is kind of a hybrid between winter sock, somewhat maybe a under quilt cover at, uh, to some degree. It actually will cover about two thirds of the under quilt. Uh, it's bottom entry uh, in, made with a little bit of shock cord. So what it is is just basically to save a little bit of weight and see if I could still gain a decent temperature rating. And like I said, last night it was upper 20s. I have a 30 degree under a 40 degree top quilt with two ounces of overstuff and I usually use a extra Costco quilt which is good enough for me in those temperatures. I had to take the, top, the Costco off. I actually got pretty warm and started sweating so worked out way better than I thought so pretty excited about that. Uh, and then just a way to keep the material to the minimum and without the zipper just keep a minimal weight. Uh, basically just kind of customized it to where it, it wraps around the bottom and fits pretty snug so there's no gaps. So, Worked out pretty well. This was the uh, the trial run for it. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a go for the future. All right. Shoes are froze. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh my. Oh, you're so excited. You look like really, really charged.
This is so cool. It's beautiful. So look who joined us. Came in late, what, nine o'clock last night? Yeah, right I around. would say, yeah, nine or 10. So he had quite the adventure, night hiking in. GPS, did it work, or maps not work? <sighs> GPS works, but not the map, not the <laughs> all trails, for sure. Oh, on an off, what, off uh, unsponsored trail to the top of the Eagle's Nest, this guy made it in without knowing the area. So so that Fun. if you ask me, that deserves an ATOT award. I'm just saying. Hey Maybe. man, <laughs> that didn't come out of my mouth. <laughs> anyway, so we're glad to have him. So he's now joining us the rest of the trip. And then the rest of these guys are digging in. I think I'm gonna do the same. All right, we're gonna make our way back to the uh, Osborne Trail on the uh, Eagle's Nest Loop. Uh, I got David and the two pups with us. So it's just us four right now. Uh, we're gonna take an easier way, uh, be a little better for the dogs. Yesterday was pretty tough, having to, poor David is having to lift them over rocks and everything else yesterday. <laughs> so we're gonna make an easier route for him today. And then uh, the rest of the group's gonna take Jeremiah back the hard way to show him what he did last night in the dark. <laughs> So, the insanity he endured in the middle of the night. That's right. That was definitely the story of the trip. That is, that is probably one of the most impressive things I've seen in a long time, yeah, for you sure. You gotta hike that trail to understand what that accomplishment was. Oh my goodness. We got lost twice in the daytime. <laughs> it must be that Kentucky. I got lost going from the campfire back to my tent last night. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it definitely must be in the Kentucky blood, I guess. I guess, man. <laughs> We're about halfway through the Osborne Trail section of the, the Eagle's Nest Loop. It's been the best section so far. with you Jaden. <laughs> yeah. Well Mr. David Gray, hey. it is a pleasure. It absolutely it's great, was. Great and, hiking with you. Oh you too. You too. So I I uh sorry about bailing on no you. no no I totally <laughs> understand. And uh it's good hiking with these guys too. I know I know this one's a little tired so that was a tough day. Yeah it was a great day. <laughs> it was it, was it really was hiking and hanging around the fire with everybody. I agree. I agree. I look forward to it again. So we'll do it again. It sounds good. Thank <laughs> you for inviting me. Oh thank you for coming. <laughs> The gang's all here. Picked up a couple other guys here. I'm Joe. Joe? And Jim. Jim. We met so him at the meetup. We met him at the meetup, that's right. Yeah. So some good good guys. So happy to have them with us this time. Yeah. So we're gonna hit the trail. Uh, we're gonna take the Indian Staircase bypass and then go around, camp out on uh, top of the Indian Staircase. Maybe check out Adina Arch. Definitely. Okay, the uh, Frog's Knob we'll see. Um, I think we're gonna maybe check out Cloud Splitter and then Maybe some of the guys that are feeling froggy, we're gonna go up the staircase too. I feel froggy. Uh, we are heading up to Indian Bypass. My legs! <laughs> Here we are. We all parked at the uh, Bison Way Trailhead. We kind of hopped in and took minimal cars down here since there's limited parking. Uh, and it's just turning into a beautiful day. Sun's gonna shine all day. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. A little, little breezy and chilly. Uh, looking at getting around 40 degrees and it'll drop back down to 30 tonight but we're excited hitting the bypass 
the Adena Arch. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Jerry Springer, I think. Jerry Springer. Yeah, my name's Jeremiah. <laughs> to the bypass. Matt up there, already working his way up to the top. So uh, you kind of get the, the idea of the pitch. It's gonna be like that all the way up to the top of those rocks and then scramble on up to the top of the the ridge there. Oh man, it's steep. You excited about this? Yes, yeah, big time. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna take the elevator. I'll see you all at the top. Yeah, dude, let's do this. <laughs> We're almost at the top. The rest of the crew down there. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful view. One of my favorites. Jeremiah's been talking about cookies for like the last three hours. <laughs> this nice go, guy man. just hooked him up. <laughs> oh, these are delicious. I know. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Carved his name into that rock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Adam said that he had got disoriented or something and had fallen, hit his head, and drowned in about two inches of water. Just like a little creek, like little branches that we passed. Yeah, Below. They found him like five, five days after he had passed. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. But they wow. carved his name in there. Oh, that's really cool. I don't want people to do that. That's really cool. It is, man. So up the bypass, past Frog's Knob, we're going to curl around and start looking for a campsite here very, very shortly. There's running water pretty close. And then I'm hungry. <laughs> So, other than that, so far it's sunny skies. Very, very chilly breeze, but man, I'll take it. Kind of keep taking my coat back, putting it on, taking it off, keep trying to keep from sweating through it again, like I did yesterday. I mean, when you're on it, it's nice to be there and have that uh, do a little mega run when we go this time, so I don't have to get any more. Dang it. Mm. <laughs> Lemon pepper. You always eat good, dude. Love that. <laughs> so we got a little bit of wood for tonight. It's <laughs> a big thing. So we're uh we're doing pretty good. I think I think we'll be okay. What do you think, Jason? We got saws, we got knives, we're gonna have a fire, we're gonna have to eat good. It'll be a nice night. We've got clear skies. Heck. Should be able to see the stars. We've got good spots to see views. I'm got some, look at all of them over there cut wood. Look at that. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> and what my job is right now is to document this and hang out with this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hanging out with you, my man. <laughs> <laughs> this newbie here, man. Second hike, killing it today, and then also crushing the wood. <laughs> I mean, he, he absolutely is a wood I cutting be warm machine, tonight. dude. <laughs> Look at that! So we had an awesome time. Got everything set up. We got tents and uh, goats tarp camping right there. More tents here, hammock, hammock. So we're all scattered out. I gotta thank this guy right here. Hi, took, us, took us on an awesome trip, showed us some awesome things. I've been wanting to see Eagle's Nest forever. This guy killed it. It is, a, it is one of my favorites now. Yeah. The bypass is so exciting. If y'all haven't seen it, try to go on the bypass. It's exciting. Oh, it is. They charge extra for gas. 
Oh, really? So they say, like, this is the price for the house, and this is what we need for gas. Good morning, day three of hiking. So, and, uh, it's gonna be a pretty nice day today, I think, up to like what 60 degrees, something like that. And uh, so Jim and Joe ended up having to take off, so we're just gonna end up. We got a couple things we're gonna go check out and then probably head on out. But right now we'll we're gonna have breakfast, probably clean up camp and and get get rolling on the trail. But other than that it should be a beautiful day, sun shining. It's gonna be a lot warmer, so looking forward to that. Uh, I just got a text from uh, Joe. They got to the car this morning and uh, couldn't find Jim's keys. So he asked if they were maybe under where the hammock was. And of course, Matt, this guy who's been killing it all weekend, finds the keys. How incredible is that? So, this, so if you want to go hiking, you've got to take this guy, right? Right. Hey, I'll join anytime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what kind of car is it? Yeah. What? I'll take it. Yeah, I like Jason's idea. That's some, that's some pretty awesome trail magic right there. <laughs> They're back. Hey, yeah. it could have it could have been worse. I'm glad I had your cell number too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. And I'm down to like I was down like 10 percent on my phone. If I'm gonna get service. Oh, man, that's awesome. I try call and try text. Don't screw this up, man. Dude, I'm a Hoosier. All or nothing right here, baby. This is the game. Let's see it. Let's this go. Is, I'm a Hoosier. You're Kentucky. Go Cats, baby. I think we got like eight more championships than your team or something like that. I yeah, know. no. Bob, I, Bob not it doesn't on. matter. We got more overall wins. I mean, this is for the, all the marbles. Here we go. 